Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so let's get started. This one's gonna be a quick one and a small one. So let's see, anything I need to say? I don't even like, days are flying by and I don't even know, what day is it today? Tuesday, you're watching this on Wednesday though, but it's Tuesday for me. All right, so we have here a 12, I have to think about that for a sec, uh, 12 by 16 inch canvas. And my base paint is all mixed up right here. And is it white? Nope. It looks white, but it's not. What I am using as my base paint is Pearl Blue by Artist Loft. You know, I was thinking I wanted to do a different base paint. I was going to do like a blue base, but then I thought, you know what? I'm going to try this pearl, pearl stuff. So I did pearl blue for the base. Okay. And I mixed it because it's Amsterdam. Instead of 80, 40, 30, I did 80, 30, 30, 80, 27, 28. It, you know, it doesn't matter, but 80, 30, 30 for Amsterdam. Okay. So that's what I did for the base. My colors in my squeeze bottles are still mixed 80, 40, 30, um, depending on the paint brand. So we have here, obviously my flower hair dryer. A lot of people are still asking me um, where I got it. It is uh, flower. It's by Drew Barrymore, the um, actress, celebrity. Um, it was a gift from a viewer of mine, but she got it at Walmart in the US, okay? I, I keep saying that, but I keep getting the same question over and over again, okay? It's a flower hair dryer. It's a travel hair dryer. Now I'm only using three colors today. Can you believe it? It's going to be a very monochromatic, I guess, you know, Dutch pour. So I have a new color I have not used before. It is Payne's Gray by Holbein. Let me show it to you. So there it is. Payne's Gray by Holbein, all right? And then these for Payne's Gray, because it's thicker and more pigmented, it's heavy body, I did 80-30-30, not 80-40-30, okay? Um, then here in the middle, we have Pearl by Deco Art. That's 80-40-30. For those of you who are new watching, that's 80 grams Floetrol, 40 grams paint, 30 grams water. This is 80 Floetrol, 30 paint, 30 water for Holbein. And then this one is also Holbein and it's Dioxazine Violet by Holbein. So those are my colors and with a pearl blue base. So I originally had titanium white, but then I'm like, no, I'm gonna switch it to pearl by Deco Art. So paint, uh, Payne's gray, I'm gonna put on the top, Dioxazine Violet on the bottom and my pearl in the middle. And I am going to flood my canvas. And because this is gonna be a short video and this is a small canvas, I'm not gonna speed you guys up. I'm gonna chit chat with you guys. So what's new and exciting for me? Oh, let me tell you. Um, Juno and Echo were at doggy daycare the other day. And unfortunately, uh, Echo caught kennel cough which is also known as Bordetella. So he now has the Bordetella virus. Uh, yes, they are both vaccinated. Yes, they are up to date on their vaccines and their shots because they're not allowed at doggy daycare without it. Um, but, you know, stuff happens. And now Echo has it. The poor pup is hacking and coughing and spewing up some really nasty stuff. And I know it is super contagious, but trying to keep those two apart is almost impossible. Uh, Echo had an appointment at the vet today. Luckily, my vet is so awesome that they squeezed us in and got us in to the vet to see the doctor uh, today. And uh, we came home with meds and lots of them and a $250 bill later. So yay, that's fantastic. Um, so I'm not impressed. I'm actually pretty irritated about that. Like I know it's not 
the fault of anybody, but it's still very irritating because, you know, um, we had plans to do a big family trip tomorrow with the kids, do some bike riding trails and take the kids on some nice trail riding. And unfortunately that just got canceled now because uh, the dogs can't go to daycare, which means I have no one to watch them, which means we now have to stay home. So um, the kids are quite disappointed about that, um, but there is nothing I can do about it. Oh, what am I doing? I have Pearl Blue in a squeeze bottle somewhere. There we go. Why am I doing it the hard way? I could be doing it the easy way. So, uh, so yeah, um, they're pretty bummed and we have uh, big plans for Friday and Saturday and the dogs were supposed to be boarding at the kennel and now I don't think that's going to happen either. So they are extremely bummed about it. Very disappointed kids. Um, I'm, I don't know, but yeah, anywho, I'm pretty disappointed that he got sick and I had to pay a 250-ish dollar bill that I wasn't expecting to fork out right, right now. So boy, oh boy, having pets is expensive. Um, but yeah, so now he's on 10 days of meds. So he has to take uh, a pill and also a liquid to contain his cough and stop yakking. Poor guy. He just looks so horrible when he's hacking away. I feel so sad for him. Poor Echo. Well, I just hope Juno doesn't get it, even though it's highly contagious. He does have his vaccine shot, so I'm hoping his immune system is pretty strong and he does not get it. Because if he does, then that's going to be another very big bill for me. So... That's, oh, this thing has no butane. Oh, come on. No, she's dead. I forgot to fill it. Oh, please. We shall use the smaller one. Let's pop those bubbles. All right, boy, this is gonna, I'm very curious to know how this is gonna dry uh, with the uh, shimmer of the blue pearl in there. All right, so let's get started with dioxazine violet. And I'm gonna do, since this is a small canvas, I'm gonna do a line here and one wispy. I'm not doing the double wispy. I'm just gonna do one. So let's go, I guess it doesn't really matter. I guess I could go this way, like this, and one going like that. I'll be interested to see how this blows out with just three colors, very deep, rich colors, might I add, because both of these look like they're black, but they're not. A very, very dark purple and a Payne's gray, which I've never used before. So I'm very curious to see how this color is going to turn out. All right, lots of paint there. And again, I'm using the new hair dryer, which I'm still learning how to play with. I guess I could use my other hair dryer, but. All right, so I'm going to start by blowing into this negative space here and work my way out. Let's get started. Wow, 
I always say wow when I'm done blowing things out. Now, there's a lot of purple in this. Even though the Payne's Gray was on the top, there's a lot of Payne's Gray here and here, a little bit hiding here, but the majority is purple. There's a big stripe here in the middle, and I'm wondering if I should leave it like that. I actually really like the stripes in there of the pearl in here. So you know what? I'm actually not going to touch it. I was really hoping not to get these two lines touching, but unfortunately that didn't pan out. But I'm really loving the Payne's Gray in here. Wow. Okay, I wonder if I should torch this petal right here. Just this one. Okay, so that brought out some more color. And I think that's it. I, I can't describe what it looks like. Almost kind of like fuzzy. Like sometimes my paintings, the color is very sharp. And here I find it's fuzzy, um, but still very pretty. And you'll see when I bring you down for a close up. But boy, oh boy, am I really liking this rich color. But I really did want to see more of the Payne's Gray. Um, but there's a lot of purple, which is shocking because the Payne's Gray was on the top. Um, but I really like it. And when this dries, the negative space is going to shimmer a pearl blue. So I am... Do I even need to fix my edges? Maybe just a bit. I'm going to fix those up and I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So I'm back. Don't forget to scrape those drips off the bottom of your canvas, super important. Do it all the way around, you know the drill. Do it three times, give it 10 minutes in between and make sure you get all those drips out. All right, so there's the piece looking so purple. I really wanted more of the Payne's Gray to come out and you see it here, which I really like, but do you see how it's foggy? And I believe that's from the pearl blue being the base. So I may try this again, but just with my regular white base paint um, from either Amsterdam or Artist Loft. Um, and I do want to try it again, but this time I might obviously eliminate the uh, purple and just do like a Payne's Gray with pearl. I just want to do like a two color. There's a paint that I really want to try, but I can't get it here. Um, it's called um, Blue Black Indigo by Atelier. Um, and I'd like to try it, but I don't, I've been looking and I don't think we can get the Atelier brand here in Canada. Uh, those of you who are in Canada, if you know of a place where I can order it from, uh, please let me know. I, I would like to try it. I, I know Tammy uses it um, and it's a very beautiful color. And um, so if you know where I can get my hands on it here in Canada, please let me know. This is where I torched it and the color came out. So um, there's gonna be, I think this whole painting is gonna shimmer. So let's turn the lights off and the flash on and check it out. So the flash is on and obviously the base is shimmering. And then, of course, everything in the paint is shimmering too because of the pearl by Deco Art. It is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. This is a beautiful piece. It's just different. It doesn't have a bunch of cells in it. Um, I almost did the Payne's Gray with gold. And then I changed my mind and I added the pearl. But I wonder what it would look like if I did Payne's Gray and just gold. A little bit of gold because we all know how much the 24 karat gold takes over in a painting so just a smidge of gold I wonder how that would be but I still do want to try the um, black blue blue black indigo by Atelier um, but yeah so if you know where I can get my hands on that let me know look at that beautiful shimmer so there you have it, folks. If anyone is interested in this piece, as I mentioned, it's a 12 by 16 inch canvas. It is available for purchase. For those of you who are lovers of purple, this is your piece. <laughs> this is the piece for you. Um, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, don't forget, you have one more day. So today, Wednesday, and Thursday, 
to get your hands on anything on the Crystal Resin website for an extra 10% off. Usually it's only 5%. You are now getting 10% using code Canela10. And don't forget, um, they just uploaded the hand mold and the bottle cap. I will show you actually. Hold on. Let me turn my lights on. Don't mind my mess. So the hand mold, which is the hands right here. Amazing. Look at the detail in that. That is so cool. Um, so that is this mold here. Okay. And I used casting resin for this. So this is now on the website. And then this mold is now on the website as well. Um, I have three of these left. If anyone is interested in these three or the hands, Again, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. I wanted to say thank you to Liddy for getting me this teeny tiny mold of a husky. How cute is this thing? Super cute. Thank you, Linny, for the cute little husky mold. Super adorable. I love it. So, and then they also have this chest set on the website as well. And I have yet to try it. Uh, I am planning on trying to make a chest set with a chest board and the chest pieces. So these molds are now on the on the Crystal Resin website and you can save 10% off. So now would be a good time to buy it because they are a limited quantity, limited stock available. And yes, you do get the hardware. The hardware does come with the mold. Okay, so you can get the hardware and 10% off using code Canela10. So there was something else I wanted to mention. Oh, a lot of people were asking me how I got uh, the hands to look so metallic-y purple. I shall show you. I used this stuff. Come on. It's Let's Resin Metallic Pearl Pigment Powder. All right. And I used this one here, purple black. That's what it looks like. And you just take a paintbrush dab it into the bottle and then um, brush it on the inside of the mold okay but i will try and do a tutorial for you guys and show you guys but uh there is uh information for let's resin in the description below um i've got lots of let's resin stuff and you can buy it on amazon so check that out all right that's it that's all Th see look i already scraped the drips and there's more drips see that I already scraped it once. This side's looking all right, but you got to come back and scrape it 10 minutes later. So there you go, everybody. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Uh, and that's it. So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.